in this video we will see how to to route a pipe now there is two two pumps now they are offset one is little uh, further down to the right side one is on left side and now one is higher and one is lower so <coughs> I just put it like this to make it a little bit more difficult uh, in the in the plant you know all the pumps are not in a in a one line they are not straight so you can just start the routing straight so now let's start now for example this is a, a, a pump and so this connection is one and a half inch and of course on the pump there is always mostly not always mostly they have a female thread on the pump and let's assume it's a one and a half inch and between so and we we must have to think about for the maintenance purpose if this pump got damaged then we have to replace this pump as well so we must put a flange or a union so so then we can just remove the flange or a union to take out this pump and install again the new pump so we don't have to cut the pipes there we cannot just start routing from there we cannot just start making pipe from here straight there <coughs> and after after a year after a six month if something happened with the pump then you again cut the pipe again you wow this is not a it's not a good idea so now I have two options one is if you if you get a threaded flange and uh, one hexagon nipple so then you can put the hexagon nipple here top of that one uh, other side of the nipple is a threaded flange and then you can start it now the other option is uh, this is a barrel nipple so here yeah, is the same both side is thread you can install one side to the pump put their flange threaded flange and the other is if you cut this thread and uh, you can just weld the hair straight slip on flange or um, socket wall type flange so I think it's better to weld their flange because then it will be easier to align the holes as well of the flange and uh, and of course the threaded flange is always expensive than the normal socket wall type flange so you must have to to see the budget as well you cannot just use uh, all these expensive things I mean yeah so okay now let's start go to assembly and uh, I have already a one I made one barrel nipple so the other end I just have cut it off so they can wall there a flange go to flange and I can use even socket wall type or slip on ok just grab this one and uh, press the tab key just choose the right size one and a half inch and press skip okay so and now we have to weld this as well just go to assembly and choose here weld path and uh, I think the normally you can use 2.5 or 2 mm this welding and click on weld path just select this edge okay thread is done oh sorry the welding is done see it's very easy to weld here but the actual welding is is hard uh, but now i can't see my where is my welding uh, come here and here you can just highlight this welding and it has this welder welding symbol it's 2mm okay so let's save this 
give it the name uh, flange mm -hmm. flange what So this assembly is done. Now you will send this part for the fabrication. Now this will be the separate part than the other parts. Okay. Now let's come to a assembly. Now here I need to bring that sub assembly. Select this face and select this. Okay, maybe it doesn't like that. Now it's right. And another thing here. Now this thread is NPT thread. Okay, so NPT thread never go all the way in. So because it's a taper thread it only goes mm, I would say maximum 25 mm 30 mm it depends on the size as the size is bigger it will go a little deep but it, it doesn't go all the way in so you have to be careful just select this face and uh, that face here I'll give a dimension 20 mm and flip the dimension uh, make it 18 okay so that is done just press the control key and uh, no it doesn't work I have to bring again this assembly Do the same thing with this. Okay. Pick it up. Select this face and this top one. Give a dimension 18 and there you go. Okay, so now another thing is very important that these holes you cannot just have a holes, holes uh, somewhere here. So, because when they will weld, it's after it's very difficult to align these holes, you must have to tell them where they must weld it. So Okay, so they are always in this position and it's easier to work. Okay, now <coughs> we have connection both sides. And first of all, I have to go to a option, select the solid work routing, and uh, okay. Okay, now there's a tab for piping and uh, actually I just want to show you where these are in the design library they also have similar things but we have to choose the routing in the routing go to in the piping and uh, there I have to choose uh, Piping and uh, and yeah, so 2018 they have added these uh, some nipples as well in uh, hex nipple, barrel nipple, this well nipple, hose nipple. 
In the previous version, they did not have these. Okay, I'm looking for a flange. And I need a socket wall type. Bring and drop top of this. So I have to choose the right size. I'm going to use socket flange plus 150 and uh, yeah, 1 .1 1 half inch. Press OK. It will bring up this uh, on the left side this property. Now here you can still choose the uh, is the schedule 40, schedule 80, schedule 160. But schedule 40 is enough. Um, if you are not using very high pressure, if you are using a um, I really don't know how much pressure it can take, but schedule 40. And if you are using a let's say stainless steel, uh, I think yeah, better you can check this uh, sheet. You will know so how much pressure it can take. <coughs> and then down there, you can. If there is your uh, uh, pipe side. Always use elbow or from the bend. Always use the elbows. And and here is this cover. If you want to apply some cover on the on the pipe, uh, <coughs> now there is a tape, rope, and this type of uh, um, the insulation. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Press OK. It will ask you to save. Yes, save. Save all. I'll save down the ask again. Just do it. Okay, now. Because <coughs> these are not in a one line, you cannot just uh, easily, you know, easily route in a 3d environment it's, it's really difficult to, to to route manually so there is always a option auto route but auto route only work if you have a the both side active part active assembly uh, or in other words if you are working with the one assembly what I mean for this and uh, you can I cannot just finish it here now if I finish this uh, this routing and I have to drop again a new flange on this one so then this will be another uh, another routing so then it you cannot use auto route for in that case so before you close the sketch you must have to bring a, another flange drop top of this choose the right side if you cannot see the right uh, right size you just click on list all configuration here there is a lot of sizes there okay that I wanted and uh, just press the escape so we are done now go to a piping the tab there is an outer route just click on there choose the anyone even you can choose first this one or this one you no know, doesn't matter and click on the second one here you can see <coughs> but this option is not a not a nice option now this pipe is going inside this pump so just look at this mouse if you click the right right click see it, it changed the option so just click again it say no I can just show you these options okay no problem just go again auto route the last time I start from this point okay now I will start from this point first choose that point and now this one now see it gives me a different options so I will just accept this or even further if I want to check more option just click on the 
right mouse button okay so you have one option this and it only has those two options okay so I have to accept one of these okay it depends on you know the space where you want to install this one if there is nothing down there you can choose this one otherwise you can just have this one I think this looks a little bit better just accept and close the sketch so there is your routing you have done that you can imagine if you do manually if you have to sketch here and just bring here and then go there it's not it's not that easy okay and now the next thing is we have to send this this pipe for the for the fabrication and uh, if I can show you there you see we have only one routing assembly if I click on there we just select one routing one pipe right click and uh, just say pipe drawings yes I want to save and here uh, here you can choose the your paper size so I just have a normal printer A4 um, click on there and on this one you can choose the template for uh, <coughs> For the uh, <coughs> uh, so uh, what's name uh, assembly detail, just click yes. So there is your this pipe, and it also bring this table. What this pipe is having, so you can just rearrange these uh, even if you don't have any description click on this and press delete it's just gone and uh, you can just add it there come right along there so by looking at these uh, these numbers you can see number one is the flange and if you look at here number one is this socket flange plus 150 1.5 is one and a half inch and we use two in this uh, in this let's say in this project one this and one there and let's see where the item number two is a 90 degree elbow this elbow and we use three elbows yeah one two three number Number three is a. Where is number three? Yeah. We can just rearrange it. Number three is a, this small pipe. Okay. Number three is a 44 mm pipe. Yeah. Like this, you can trace all of them. There is number five. Number five is a 35.7 mm. That is also a small pipe, and uh, there is some dimensions. You can see them. Uh, one dimension is here, but I would, I would like to have a uh, this one, this view. I will use only for the for the displaying these all the parts, and for the dimension, I will just click on the assembly I will just click on there and uh, just choose uh, assembly this is the one and uh, then I want to use this one and uh, go back get another view
you can get as, as many as you want but you can you don't make drawing so complicated otherwise it's difficult to understand okay so let's transform it now okay first of all i need a center line click the view go to center line select okay this again center line for for this view this dimension <coughs> so actually the dimension for this part is also here is a 100 and 185 but I want to show you closely oh, what is actually is taking dimension from the pipe because this was the socket wall type so the pipe is going inside the flange and from that from that I mean it, this dimension is this pipe to a in center of the center line okay <coughs> but I would like to give dimension from the face of the flange and the center line now you will see a little difference here is 101.85 and is 106 because they are just measuring the pipe and I am giving dimension from the face of the flange to a center of this one now <coughs> because the in the solid work this uh, this flange thickness is 15.94 but it is it is a possible and it, it sometime no most of the time it happens when you go to market and you want to buy a flange that flange may be different than this, uh, this thickness it's 15.96 maybe in the market that flange is only 14 mm or let's say 12 mm but they always keep a standard but it is also possible they have a different manufacturers are making these flanges uh, yeah, it can be different but if you give dimension from the face of the flange to a center so <coughs> there is no way that uh, the manufacturer guy can make a mistake this fabricator guy because he will just follow face of this flange to a center it doesn't matter if this flange is thick or a thin you will get the right height by applying dimension from the face to a to the center of the pipe and another thing uh, it's also possible this elbow radius is maybe a little small and or a little big is more more bigger than this radius and uh, in this case you must use this one uh, by looking at on this end number three number three is a 44.7 mm so i either can cut 44 the same this uh, this pipe and if it's uh, yeah you must look at that he has to follow this one not not only this one this is just giving you an idea that what uh, how, how long pipe you need actually all all over now if you calculate all these one then you can get the total length of the pipe that you need for this assembly that is the main mission of this and it's I would say 90% it is right all these uh, flying thickness and this elbow radius everything is the same that is available in the market but still it can be a different so <coughs> and okay so one end is done now this thing is done I have to give dimension from this center to that center so you can just come it here and this dimension is exactly the same no no problem here and now also i i have to give dimension from top to from that center to this flange phase of this flange so again 
if this elbow is long, short, or this uh, flange is anything a little bit thicker or thinner, then no problem. It will be a same dimension here. Okay, so I have this, this, this. Only I need to give another dimension that is from here to here. So another 50 and this dimension also is very important because it's coming from this face to center of this one uh, actually uh, this and this is the same you can because it's just from the side I'm just going to delete this dimension from here that just select this dimension and delete that I don't need and that also I don't need it <coughs> so I'll just use this view for to displaying these all the parts and this one I'll use as a for the fabrication and I think all the dimensions are here except um, except one because the top view uh, where it can be click and uh, choose the center line at this view and uh, give a dimension from here to center of this but unfortunately I can't yeah oh my goodness it's already that one okay so yeah it is actually done we don't need that one and you can just delete the view just say ok uh, yeah thank you very much for watching this video maybe it's a little bit longer uh, yeah I want to finish it in a one video